dazu. <lacht> YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite stay. It is Saturday. Um, I've just been to the charity shops. I hopefully, I've got some footage of that just before this clip. Um, I'm going back out again. I just bought a massive Peter Pan set and I, could, I just couldn't carry it around and be going to the other shops. So, come back, going back for round two. Um, I paid off some woman today in one of the charity shops. Uh, when I first started going in there, I buying like a load of crap. And she was like, she was asking me, so what, what's all this for? And I said it was for a man cave. And then today I've gone in there and I bought like three old women's jackets for a pound each. And she was like, so what are these for? And I was like, I'm not, I went, do you really want me to tell you the truth? And she was like, she just kind of shook her head and then kind of walked off. I don't want to offend her, but you know what I mean? I, when I first started going in there, it's like, I found it easy to just make up like an excuse, like it was a man cave, but when I'm buying old women's jackets and a daisy duck plush I can't honestly lie to her anymore can I so I said don't make me lie to you and she didn't find it particularly funny so but yeah round two hopefully I'll pick up some more stuff what up YouTube I'm just in the loft just getting some stuff to package up oh what a long last day uh, I was meant to be getting more footage in the other charity shops but I completely forgot about it I'll be honest um, picked up some all right stuff, uh, two plushies that I should get about 25 quid each, a nice Peter Pan set, um, I don't know which is going to come first, the chicken or the egg, so this video or my whole video, but they should be both coming in in the next two days, <coughs> oh, just got a bit wheezy, um, yeah, so I had that incident with the old lady, being a bit peeved that I'm not, um, that not everything that I'm buying there is from my man cave and I think she's starting to click on what I'm doing but yeah, what's she going to do? Ban me. Go on then old bird. Make my day. I ain't above it. No, I wouldn't knock out an old one. I'm only joking. Punch her in the leg. I'm joking. I'm against old people violence. Right, um, another thing happened in one of the churches. This is what I mean about Wolverhampton. I like Wolverhampton. But no, no, it's I like it because of, because I was born here and all that kind of got a connection to it, all that shiz. Um, but God, <laughs> I'm in a chair shop today. As I'm walking in, I see like a beer can in the well, I say beer can, the cheapest side you could ever find, sitting in the doorway. And this, there's an armless bloke sitting next to the doorway, and he kind of like stands up, reaches around, grabs the can, and then goes back and sits down and um, starts drinking his can and I'm thinking oh it's his beer that he's left there or whatever just going around the shop go in and I don't know if everybody else has this in the town centre but you know you can see a baghead from a mile off well there was these two bagheads in the charity shop like they don't even obviously trying to find something because one of the security guys caught them trying to get some and, and they're like oh whatever and all this shit so they leave the shop as I go out of the shop, the guy goes, um, Who the f is Nick Mark can of beer? I left Mark can of beer. Look, look, it's a normal thing. You know what I mean? Look, that's what everyone does. You know, they leave the can of beer at the shop door as they're leaving. You know what I mean? Like, like oh, sorry, mate. Gee, we didn't realise. You know what I mean? Well, what happened is he couldn't find his can of beer. So he's going, Who's had Mark can of beer? Who's had it? Blah, blah, like nobody else in the shop. On a, I don't know. 11 o'clock in the morning outside a charity shop was drinking beer funnily enough so it was only him and like he's like where's my beer and then I remembered that the harmless guy who was sitting next to the door nicked this as 
I thought it was easy as this guy's bear. So he starts kicking off, and I'm like, oh, well, I can't grasp up the armless guy, can I? You know what I mean? Because what's going to happen is they're just going to kick off and kick off with the armless guy. So like, he just starts kicking off, and he starts getting on the security. Then he's having a go at the guy behind the counter. Then he starts having another go at the guy. Blah, blah, blah. And then they just ended up having to get more security and get him out. But <sighs> I felt kind of bad that I could have kind of diffused the situation. But my thing was, okay, what's going to happen? Am I going to diffuse it in the way that um, I can go, hey, hey, it's none of us, it was him. And then they kick off with this poor homeless guy who just saw some free beer and went, oh, yeah, life sucks anyway, fuck it. You know what I mean? So I was like, I felt pretty bad that the security and the guy behind the counter had to get like a round of Fs off this, um, what I thought was a smackhead, but was a pisshead. So, um, but I, I think he was definitely a baghead. I think he was definitely, um, on the crack but yeah eventful day around the charity shops um, but but yeah it was a good day it was a good day picking up boys but you might have already seen this or you'll see this in my next video <laughs> yeah, I'll see you later what up YouTube how you doing I know this isn't normally what I'd show on my kind of vloggy vlog thing um but I've just picked the well Someone's just dropped these off to my house from Spock. Um, I haven't done any of these for a while. I have picked up a couple of hauls this week. So if you can hear the TV in the background. Um, I picked up a Fireman Sam haul, a Ben 10 haul, and then I've just picked up this diamond of a Ben 10 haul. Um, I already know. I'm straight in the money already. I already know. Uh, it cost me 30 quid. And it's come with like a kind of play set that I've never seen before. Um, a car set, which the lady says it's all in there, so I'll trust it in there. But um, it's the figures that I was mainly after. I'll see if I can find the couple. Well, I'll tell you that. That one, I could get about 20 to 25 for. Um, hopefully. There's a lot of, I've never had that one before. But I know, hopefully the figures in there, which, that, ha ha, there we go, so here's the two. Now that one's worth about 15 quid by itself, it's Clockwork, I think his name is, and then this one's the daddy, big, crap, what's his name? I'd have to look it up, I can't remember, <laughs> uh, I can't remember his name. But um, I should get about 15 to 20 quid on that, so just off those three figures alone, that's 25, 55 quid, and I've paid 30 for the haul. So yeah, I haven't done this for a while, but my listings, sorry, my sales this time last year are about the same they are. So yeah, I haven't done this kind of thing for, God, about six months where I've got like a large Ben 10 haul. Um, but I'm going to see how it works, see if, you know, it still works the same as it was this time last year. Um, I stopped doing it because I just felt I had just way too much Ben 10, um, but my sales have been affected this, this year compared to last year. I'm still around the same, if not less, um, than I was this time last year, but I suppose I've still, no, no, I'm about the same actually. When I think about November, but I'd, uh, December, I was at about two and a half grand in 60 days, and I'm not that near that at the minute. I'm at about two, just over two grand. So hopefully this will pick it up. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you what I do. Basically, I'll just break these down. This all cost me 30 quid, and I'll break these figures down. Obviously, you've got like that, that's 15. Um, you've got 15, 15, 25. And then you'll have some of these which will go for about 7 or 8. And if they don't go for 7 or 8, I'll just put them together for 6 quid. So, no, that one will go by itself. That one will go by itself. That one will definitely go by itself. Um, I'm just looking here, I can see quite a few that will just go by themselves so yeah I'd really happy with that 
really happy with that for 30 quid that that's going to fill my listings for a while what well, have youtube just in the loft um onesie day i don't know um i can't remember what i was going to talk about now you know when you press record and you just i can't remember at all what you're going to talk about yeah um oh i'm feeling all i don't know i'm feeling all optimistic and stuff it's weird I'm not like an optimistic kind of person, but you know, um, since like I've not match been on the head and stuff and still doing a bit here and there, um, not putting as much time in it as I was, um, and putting it into my eBay, I think like it's it's all paying off, you know what I mean? It might be because it's Christmas, so I am aware of that. But you know, doing like the promotions, the sales, listing consistently, I've done over 40 listings this week which is fantastic for me <laughs> um, yeah it's just been a productive week a positive week this week has been um, but um, I suppose if I wouldn't have I had Friday where I had 8 sales and I think it was about 170 quid in total which probably could be one of my best days that I've had on eBay um, but yeah it's all like peace and love and optimisticality, if that's a word, and stuff like that. Um, also, uh, I think I've shot myself in the foot. Uh, I was on Carla's chat um, this morning, and um, they were talking about uh, doing a reseller men calendar. Um, and I said I couldn't be part of that because of my egg yolk nipples. And um, what I mean is the areola. It's all right when I'm in the cold, but let's not let's not talk about my nipples. Um, but yeah, and I think someone thinking the phrase "drippy nippies" or something like that. Um, so yeah, I think that's my new nickname, "drippy nippies." Shit, it just came on my head shot. I think. Um, but yeah, that's how dripping nippies it is. So that's another t-shirt I'm thinking about doing. So at the minute, on the Make Believe Steve Green um, merchandise store, there's the beanie with the beard attached. There's a t-shirt saying, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite Steve. Um, and now, hashtag dripping nippies. And you'll be able to get that in my future store. Which I haven't done yet, or made, or even thought about. But yeah, hashtag ripping hippies. So yeah, uh, I think that's the vlog. Not really anything new or anything like that, but yeah, it's been a productive one. A productive week, a good week, a good week on eBay. So I'm all positive until I go into work tomorrow. And I'll be all negative again. Yay! So for now, peace out, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I'll see you.